this video we're going to take a look at creating your own table of contents. So uh, table of contents relating to what pages you'll have key sections of the document with. I'm going to start off with this blank document with double clicking the header where we can easily go in and add a quick page number top of the page. How about uh, page one of one right there just so we have a record of it. Close my header and footer and I'm going to start off with creating um, some Southwest USA content New Mexico I want New Mexico to be in our table of content so I'm gonna create a quick style off of that I'm just gonna go ahead and create I wanted it to be blue okay so there we have open sans bold 22 point with the selected text, I'll go create a quick style, and I'll just call it uh, my heading. Simple enough. Clicking OK. Now, I know a little code here that will generate random text. It's equals R A N D open parentheses. Basically, you type a number inside. If I want five paragraphs, I'll get five paragraphs. You see that right there? Hit enter. And now I'm down to lower the part there. Create a Utah. I want this to show up my table of contents. So I'm clicking on Utah. Okay, I'll create a, more paragraphs equals R A N D. This time I'll do five paragraphs, but I want each paragraph to have 25 sentences. So check out that five comma is 25. So that puts us down in the page four territory. Okay, it's Colorado. Heading one. Okay. And just incidentally, you see how I keep hitting enter and it gives the new style below it as we're talking here. I can change that. I like to change that so the paragraph style after is normal. Drag that over here. Okay, currently we've got style based on normal, but after we hit enter, it's based on the same style. If I choose that normal, then check this out. I press enter and I type my paragraph. I'm back to normal text here. All right. And then one more Utah. Go ahead. Heading style. Awesome. And let's end Utah with some Latin text. So Lorem will give us some Latin text. I'll ask for 10 paragraphs. Each paragraph I want. 20 sentences in it and there we are okay so control home takes me back up to page one and we're going to go in to the references tab select table of contents custom table of contents again this is bypassing the regular heading one styles that you would easily generate with these two here creating your own custom styles we're going to click options and delete these styles here and it's just a matter of finding that custom style and reporting it as a heading one style basically linking it up to it scrolling down here's my heading so that was the name of my style I'm gonna do number one so it's a main level it's checked it's gonna be directly affecting every time it sees my heading I'll click OK here's the preview we got tab leaders coming out. There's a variety of different options with format. Let's try fancy. And then OK. And then boom. There's the, the table of contents completely directing from each of those snap points there. Now I'm going to do a control enter, do a page break. New Mexico now is going to start on page two. To update the table of contents, scroll up. We would right click on table of contents update field we're going to do the update entire table to include new headers that were added my heading styles and page numbers at the same time you can see all those all changed out like that directly and uh, another thing you can do is you can even change the font if you don't like that font you can certainly go in and map it out to whatever desire that you want that to be there so that's how you do a table of contents generated by your own custom styles 
that you'll see here. Whenever you want to know what styles you're using in the document, you can click the Styles dialog uh, task pane here. You'll see your styles that you have um, in that environment there. And simply click on a body of paragraph text. You'll see what, what style it is. Thanks for joining us here. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.